That's with 7 News Alert, a Seneca man is out of jail after being arrested yesterday, accused of impersonating law enforcement. Our Taylor Farmer spoke to the Oconee County Sheriff's Office about what you can do to confirm if someone's actually an officer. The Oconee County Sheriff's Office say they are urging the public to be aware of those who may be impersonating a law enforcement officer. This comes after 40 year old Andrew Elrod was booked into the Oconee County Detention Center. The Sheriff's Office says Elrod presented a fake badge to witnesses at the scene of an accident. In this day and age, uh, integrity is such a huge part of, of what we do and always has been. So when we see situations like this, obviously it can be uh, very concerning to us. The sheriff's office says while it may be difficult to decipher if someone is impersonating an officer, there are a few things to pay attention to. We expect our deputies uh, whenever they, uh, whether it's a traffic stop, any type of call for service, uh, for that deputy to identify themselves, uh, their agency obviously, and let that individual know in the case of a call for service uh, why we have responded to that scene. The sheriff's office adds some deputies and investigators are not always in uniform or in a marked car. They say an individual always has the right to ask for a deputy's badge or call dispatch to confirm who is pulling them over. Certainly an individual has the right uh, to ask for identification and for that deputy to show them their badge and we have absolutely no problems with uh, anybody that we come in contact with especially in situations with plain clothes. Impersonating a law enforcement officer is a classy misdemeanor in South Carolina. It could result into a year of prison or up to a fine of $500. In Oconee County, Taylor Farmer, 7 News. So if you've had a similar encounter with Elrod or anyone else impersonating law enforcement, you're asked to contact your sheriff's office.